Hindu religion uh, and, as, and he should apologize for his statement and as well as he should uh, give authentication to the comments he has made in the parliament today regarding the various issues. No, none of this has happened. Uh, Rahul Gandhi, sir, clearly did not say this. They are on purpose trying to mislead the public. They are trying to misinterpret his statements. He only said that a few people, few of the BJP leaders who call themselves Hindus are uh, doing such things. So clearly this is just uh, them, the BJP leaders, trying to misinterpret his uh, statements and trying to mislead the public. None of this has happened. Other than that, he spoke about a lot of other issues uh, such as uh, NEET exam where uh, students are uh, struggling currently after studying for years uh, after studying for years where the exam is being compromised recently again if you would uh, see that is um, UGC case K net K set net set exam has also been cancelled on 18th of June the exam was conducted on the 19th of June uh, the authority that is NTA came out and said that uh, it is going to be cancelled so he raised all these uh, major issues in the parliament and he explained to the parliament how all religions they only talk about one thing do not fear and also do not scare anybody and uh, all of us are equal all all religions hindu muslim sikh christian all religions say the same thing that be peaceful ahimsa non-violence these are all the things he spoke about thank you yeah thank you uh, ma'am, uh, neither opposition in Lok Sabha, Rahul Gandhi gave a speech today on the motion of thanks of presidential address, but the BJP is saying that he has demeaned the Hindu religion and asked for the apology from Rahul Gandhi. How do you see that? See, today we have seen in the parliament, it's a fantastic, wonderful and unforgettable day in the uh, parliament. Today, Rahul Gandhi ji, as a leader of the opposition, has spoke extremely well with commitment, courage and most importantly, he spoke the truth and with in depth. So that's what disturbed them. What is against Hindu religion? Showing uh, Shivji's photos against Hindu religions, explaining what Shivji as an idea to the parliament is against Hindu religions. What I personally feel, Rahul Gandhi ji completely exposed the Narendra Modi ji and BJP's politics of religion. He showed the mirror to them. They couldn't digest this. Today, did you ever see the Prime Minister of the country can stood up and interrupt the opposition leader's speech? Today, not only the Prime Minister, Defence Minister and the Home Minister, eight other ministers have stood up and interrupted the Rahul Ji's speech. Generally, when LOP speak in the parliament, that's not the convention or rule. But today, they couldn't bear what Rahul Ji is speaking because he it's full of truth and fact. So he put in front of them. Prime Minister, I think, he, from Kohn Rahul to facing the onslaught in the floor of the parliament, I think he come on full circle. Last question is likely to reply on uh, in the Lok Sabha, the motion of thanks of President Address uh, on Tuesday. What are the expectations of the opposition parties uh, from in the speech you are expecting uh, from the on, on the, in the uh, Prime Minister's speech? We expect Prime Minister to speak the truth and the fact. Hindu religion. Uh, and, as, and he should apologize for his statement and as well as he should uh, give authentication to the comments he has made in the parliament today regarding the various issues. No, none of this has happened. Uh, Rahul Gandhi, sir, clearly did not say this. They are on purpose trying to mislead the public. They are trying to misinterpret his statements. He only said that a few people, few of the BJP leaders who call themselves Hindus are uh, doing such things. So clearly this is just uh, them, the BJP leaders, trying to misinterpret his uh, statements and trying to mislead the public. None of this has happened. Other than that, he spoke about a lot of other issues uh, such as uh, NEET exam where uh, students are uh, struggling currently after studying for years, uh, after studying for years where the exam is being compromised. Recently again, if you would uh, see, that is um, UGC case, KNET. Set, net set exam has also been cancelled on 18th of June. The exam was conducted on the 19th of June. Uh, the authority that is NTA came out and said that uh, it is going to be cancelled. So he raised all these uh, major issues in the parliament and he explained to the parliament how all religions, they only talk about one thing, do not fear and also do not scare anybody. And 
all of us are equal all all religions hindu muslim sikh christian all religions say the same thing that be peaceful ahimsa non violence these are all the things he spoke about thank you thank you yeah thank you uh ma'am uh we do opposition in lok sabha rahul gandhi gave a speech today on the motion of thanks of presidential address but the bjp is saying that he is he means the hindu religion and ask for the apology from rahul gandhi how do you see that see today we have seen in the parliament it's a fantastic wonderful and unforgettable day in the uh, parliament today rahul gandhi ji as a leader of the opposition has spoke extremely well with commitment courage and most importantly he spoke the truth and with in depth so that's what disturbed them what is against the hindu religion showing a uh, shivji's photos against hindu religions explaining what shivji as an idea to the parliament is against hindu religions what i personally feel rahul gandhi ji completely exposed the narendra modi ji and bjp's politics of religion he showed the mirror to them they couldn't digest it today did you ever see the prime minister of the country can stood up and interrupt the opposition leader speech today not only the prime minister defense minister and the home minister eight other ministers have stood up and interrupted the rahul ji speech generally when lop is speak in the parliament that's not the convention or rule but today they couldn't bear what rahul ji is speaking because he it is so full of truth and fact so he put in front of them prime minister i think he from kon rahul to facing the onslaught in the floor of the parliament i think he come a one full circle last question is likely to reply on uh, in the lok sabha on the motion of thanks of president address uh, on tuesday what are the expectation of the opposition parties uh, from in the speech you are expecting uh, from the uh, on the in the uh, prime minister's speech we expect prime minister to speak the truth and the fact अरक्षण सूदिगे वस्तार न्यूज यूट्यूब चानल सब्सक्रैबी होस सूदिग्न नोटिफिकेशन बेल क्ली लेटेस्ट अपडेट्स डब्ल्यू 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 डाट वस्तार न्यूज डाट काम वेबसाइट के वजिटी अंगैयले जगत सूदि तलियल वस्तार न्यूज कन्ड आउनलोडी